Hi, I'm Tom Shepard, one of the technical team at Store Magic, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to upgrade the firmware of your VSAs using our Store Magic dashboard. This video should be used alongside our manual, which can be found at storemagic.com forward slash manual, and a direct link to the relevant topic can also be found in the description of the video below. This is a new feature in the Store Magic dashboard, so the first thing you'll need to do is upgrade your plugin to the latest version which is currently 6.1. Details on that process can be found in our manual, and there's also a video guide on our channel. Once you've done that, you can then navigate to the data center on the left-hand side, and under the configure tab, you'll find our Store Magic dashboard. You can see here that we've got two VSAs in my environment, and if we scroll across, we can see that the current firmware version is 6.0. So the first thing we need to do is upload the latest version of the firmware, to our VCSA. To upload the firmware to the VCSA, we're going to need to open a WinSCP session. You'll need to download the upgrade.image file from our support portal, and there's a video guide detailing how to do that. We're then going to need to navigate to the following file directory on your VCSA. Once you've found that file directory, simply copy your upgrade.image file across and wait for that to complete. If you're using a Windows vCenter, copy it over to the following location. Once you've uploaded the firmware to your vCenter, you can then come back to the dashboard, click on the cog icon up here in the corner, and go to show upgrade firmware. You'll now see under available versions that we have that firmware version that we've just uploaded. We can now close back out of this, Select the two VSAs that we want to upgrade the firmware on, click on the cog icon again, and click Add to Upgrade List. You then have three upgrade options, Stage, Complete Staged, and Full Upgrade. Stage uploads the firmware to the VSA but doesn't apply it. Complete Staged applies the firmware to the VSA by giving it a restart, and Full Upgrade uploads the firmware and then restarts the VSA to apply that new firmware. One thing you can't do is do a complete staged or full upgrade to two VSAs that have a mirrored target between them. If you do try to do this, it will give you an error message. This is to prevent undesirable effects that could result if another user were to upgrade either of these VSAs at the same time from a different machine. If this is attempted, one of the two VSAs that hosts the mirror is upgraded, the other VSA is not, and a message is displayed in the dashboard. So we'll select our first VSA. We have our firmware version selected we're going to do a full upgrade and then we just click upgrade we can see there that it's uploading the firmware and it will then reboot the vsa to apply that new firmware image once that firmware upgrade has completed we can then see here under our firmware column that it has the new 6.1 version so now we can go ahead and do the full upgrade on the second vsa as well So in this video, I've shown you how to use the firmware upgrade in the StoreMagic dashboard. Please make sure to check out the other videos on our channel. And if you've got any other further questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to one of the sales or technical team. Thanks for watching and see you again.